What's going on everyone? So I'm, I've made a big purchase for the, the lifestyle block. Um, got myself a Yanmar digger, so I'm gonna do a bucket repair on it today. Um, as you can see, the uh, we're missing a little bit of bucket. I'm gonna basically cut along that line and I'm gonna put a new piece of steel in there um, just to make the bucket a bit better. Looks like it's had a few repairs over time, which uh, I might try and fix that up as well. It was a bit not the best. Um, so yeah, this is a two-ton Yanmar. It's got the the tilting head on it. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a two-ton machine. It's not the newest of machines, but it'll do the job. Um, but yeah, genuine Yanmar. All right, so I've got the bucket up here. Um, I'm just gonna measure from this point here um, up to here where it's sort of the welding started. Um, and then I'm gonna put a square line. I'm gonna cut across there, cut up each side and take this whole piece out and replace it with the plate steel that I've got down there and put a thicker cutting edge on this as well for a bit better durability, hopefully. Right, so that's that marked out, so I'll just cut that piece out and, yeah, get rid of it. I think this bucket's seen better days, but we'll fix it up anyway because it's cheaper than buying a new one.
Sweet. Oh, well, that's everything cut out of it. So we'll um, weld this, we'll tack it all back in, and then weld the blade on the back side, and I might even put some stiffeners in the middle too, try and make it a bit more rigid this time, and fix the weld on there. So I'll be using my favourite stick electrodes today. They're a TC16 low hydrogen rod. They're my favourite.
all right everyone so I've, um, I've sort of finished the bucket as much as I'm going to put into it um, so as you can see this was the old bucket so I had big weld repairs at the side someone had tried to patch the back of it all up really badly <laughs> um, and that cutting edge as you can see there it's well it's not straight and it's pretty worn so I've now gone and welded a new piece of steel onto it and yeah I've sort of welded it all along the back there still got it clamped up so that um, that front edge hopefully stays square um, I've patched all of the stuff in there because that was all cracked and broken um, there was bits and pieces on the back and yeah now I should have a nice square cutting edge um, I think I might have to put a bit of bit of bracing in the side of here from here to here but that's easy enough I'll cut a couple of pieces for that and weld them in and then I think I'll call that a finished bucket so the uh, looks like the buckets pretty well finished so I'll um, chuck it on the digger now and yeah I'll give it a bit of a bit of a test out Well, that's it then the, the digger bucket has been repaired so um yeah it's looking good works well seems to cut pretty flat so yeah pretty good job um if you enjoyed the video subscribe um if you have any comments or ideas um for other videos let me know down in the comments and um thanks for watching